Hi, this is Dr. Menaka from Tamil Nadu. Till how long we give progesterone, sir? Up to 9 or 16 so, weeks? So, Menaka, one thing is very clear that we give progesterone till the report of uh, our beta SCG, first of all. In case, it, in case it comes positive, I continue giving them till 70 days of progesterone. I'm old school, the way we have learned. The day we start progesterone, if we continue until 70 days of progesterone, this means seven, uh, 10 weeks. But as per the recommendations, you can stop. When the heartbeat comes, you can stop it. Some people stop when the beta CG comes positive. But I am conservative. I carry on till 70 days of initiation of luteal phase support. Sir, what about estrogen? We have to continue and... Same, same, same. Oh, broken. Same. Yeah. Then you don't stop. It's a part of your uh, luteal phase support, no? In case you are giving somebody uh, estradiol valerate or something, then you continue that along with the progesterone. Otherwise, she may have withdrawn bleeding. Yes. They will continue till 10 weeks. Yes. Is there any criteria, sir, that number of puncture in case of OP? So, this question, this, this thing I missed today. It's my fault. I missed today. See, it's always good. See, ovary, ovaries normally don't bleed. The balls also normally don't bleed. But they say we should have a single puncture. But I always say that uh, do two punctures or three punctures in case required. But do them under vision. Now in case I enter an ovary, once I enter the ovary, I like to take all the follicles in one line. So I take three follicles in one line. So ovary, average size of ovary is around how much? Ovary is around 2.5 cm in width. So when the ovary is stimulated, it has, it has got now around 10-12 uh, follicles. So ovary will become how much? It will become 2 cm, 2 cm, 2 cm, 2 to 2. It's around 6 or 7 cm big. So once, once you take one follicle, the other follicle will come towards your needle. So you take three follicles in one go, you come back, then you micro tilt, go to three or four follicles, come back, at the at the ovarian cortex level then go to the other three follicles so don't try to move in case ovary is not getting rotated or ovary has got a problem never go inside and then after two centimeters go left or right because the vision of your ultrasound probe is how much is barely six centimeter so don't try to go to the middle of the ovary and then start moving your needle because that will lacerate the ovary Fundamental is that you don't go to the follicle. Let the follicles come near you. So I take three follicles that the ovary, now the ovarian cortex will pull the ovary towards me as the follicle fluid comes out, comes out from these two, three follicles. And then after all have been taken, then you change my direction. Still you find some follicles are left there in the end. Take it out and make somebody rotate the ovary for you abdominally. So I say, in case ovaries are accessible, only one prick. If ovary is not accessible, take two, three pricks. But under controlled visions, blindly don't try to move in the ovary like this because there you will have more chance of injury. So ideally, a single prick, but in case of difficulty, you can take two pricks or three pricks, but under controlled vision where you find needle is going inside and coming out in one axis without causing any laceration like this. Is that okay? You.